So I wanted Dr. Warner, since I can't give this homeopathic lecture alone, she has to talk about her uh, homeopathic experience. Because we both, we both discovered homeopathy independently. So I think it's kind of interesting. Another eye doctor here. Mm. Begins to do homeopathy. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to explain to you exactly, actually, how it works. Now, has everybody had uh, chemistry, like, um, in school way back when? <laughs> okay. Uh, but you do know what H2O is. Okay. And have all of you heard of uh, Einstein? Okay, now, you know that when light is energy, right? Okay, and he gave us the, the theory that energy equals mass times the speed of light. E equals mc squared. Okay, now, if you take that formula, and we think there's a lot of mass, right? Okay, um, if you collapsed all the mass down into the universe, so there was no space between the mass, do you know how much mass there is in the entire universe? You think you're a lot of mass, right? Yeah. I'm a lot of mass, right? I'm this building is. A... You are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole universal mass can be consolidated down into the size of a bowling ball. That's all there is in the whole world and the universe. Mm -hmm. So, how much mass are you? Much That's much. right, an infinitesimal amount. So if you took that formula, E equals mc squared, you can almost cross out mass. So the formula ends up being energy equals the speed of light. Okay, And that's why the vision system is so important, because we have lots of photoreceptors that receive light. But when Hahnemann died, he, um, the scientists didn't fall in his camp. Okay, and um, the pieces of the puzzle didn't fit well together. So God, in his infinite wisdom, sent him a, a, another Einstein called Stephen Hawking. Okay, Stephen Hawking gave us the string theory. And what he discovered is that there are other energetic particles in the universe, and they're shaped like little Ueys. And what they do is they work by vibration. So our body is so wonderfully designed, we have light receivers and we have ears, string, vibratory, they pick up vibration. So if you add it to that theory, Einstein's theory of relativity, we have E equals mc squared, that mass is crossed out almost, and strings, vibration. But that still doesn't tell us the whole picture, because what is a cell, right? Okay, so a cell has um, cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm. Is that mass? Not very much, really, right? So what are that? What is that? You can break down the cells into tiny pieces of energy called electrons, protons, neutrons, right? Okay, so the whole body has an infinitesimal amount of mass, but what is the remainder? Energy. So I am energy, you are energy. Okay, now if you go to study physics, energy cannot be created. We do not know how to create energy, but we don't know how to destroy it either. That is not humanly possible. So what we do is we take energy and we transform it from one state to another. That's all we do. So if that's all we do, guess what the definition of disease is? It's not mass. We have transformed our energy state into something different. That's what the definition of disease is. Okay? So we should be able to retransform our energy into a previous better state. Right? And what we do is we use light, we can use sound, we can use homeopathy. Okay, so what is homeopathy? Okay, if nothing is really mass or an infinitesimal amount of it and everything is energy, that means everything has a vibration to it. Okay? So what if I could um, encase some sort of energy for later use? Okay, so if I wanted to make a bomb, and I took all these chemicals, and I encased it in a, uh, encased it in a, a, you know, a bomb, 
okay? And tonight, my neighbor lets his dog poop in my yard, literally, okay? And I'm mad at that dog and my neighbor. So I'm going to take this bomb and I'm going to get back at him. So what if I threw that bomb at his house? Would he be happy with me? Because what happens now when that energy is released? It's, it destroys something, right? Or changes it. It makes the, the building now not in structure form. It changes its energetic state. Well, that's what we can do with homeopathy. We take substances, and what we do is we, we pulverize them, and we um, put them in solution, and we succuss it just like the bomb. We threw the bomb to release its energy into this liquid, and then we take these little white pellets, we sprinkle them with that solution, and guess what we have just made? An energetic substance to be used when we choose to use it. Okay? So how homeopathy works is whatever your disease process is, it's an energetic change, and if I can find the remedy that matches your state and give it to you when we so choose, what can we do with your energy system? Transform it to a previous better state. And that's how it works. Okay. Um, I have a couple of stories too. <laughs> so um, every single one of us vibrates with a certain vibration. And so we either vibrate with a plant, a mineral, or an animal. Okay, and the way we talk, the way we interact with people, is that's how we are. Okay, so I had a patient that came in and says, I have a squeaky knee, like a hinge. It squeaks. And he had some other, uh, like, um, insulin resistant, kind of going toward diabetes state. And um, he said, can you help me? So I said, I don't know. So I, we took his case, and um, he said, you know, I would like to think that I... I'm a man of my word. And that's how I want people to treat me. I want them to be a man of their word. Well, if you research in the homeopathic remedies, there is a, a remedy called Cali Carbonica. And do you know what those people are? I am a man of my word. So I gave him in 30C, actually, we started with 30C. Uh, phys to, um, there's controversy, but I like low remedies and physical symptoms, and then you go up for mental symptoms. And so we gave him a 30C, and uh, four weeks later he said, I'm fine. He stopped his uh, sugar cravings, his uh, squeaky knee went away, and that's been um, almost a year on that one tiny little pellet. And that's how, it's so miraculous, it's so exciting. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much.